Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you my favorite way to add color contrast to an image. Let's get into Photoshop. Boom. Welcome to Photoshop. So in here, this is an image I've edited earlier, and I've got two different types of contrast that I've put on this, just to show you an example of what we're gonna to do today. So firstly, we've got kind of a normal contrast, which is basically just kind of a brightness and contrast layer, just bumping up the contrast. And then the second one, this is the color contrast. You can see the difference between the two. If I hold Option here and click these individual folders, it'll open just those. You can kind of see there's a slight difference between the two. With just a normal contrast, the colors don't work quite as well. Like it's a similar kind of tonality, but the actual colors aren't quite as nice and as rich as when we do a color contrast. So this is the color contrast here in contrast to the normal contrast. And if we compare that to our original image, you can really see the difference that this starts to add on to it. Just makes the image really pop, makes the colors look really vibrant. It's still in a nice way where it kind of makes it nice and vivid, but not too saturated. So how do we do this? So let me delete these two layers. So the first thing we want to do is do a hue and saturation layer. We're going to duplicate that. Command J or Control J on a PC. And then we're going to change the top one, color burn, and the bottom one to color dodge. So at the moment, this looks terrible. But if we drop down the fill here to about 5% on both, you can start to see already, this is kind of adding a nice bit of contrast and bit of pop to the image. And we can like tweak the fill here so we can kind of go up and down, just kind of see what looks right. If I come too high, it, comes, it goes like too dark, but it's finding that right balance where it suddenly looks really good. So I might actually leave that around 11. I kind of like the way that's looking there. But you can kind of see just like it adds a bit of kind of like color to the shadows. And then, yeah, this vibrancy on the top here. So we're just going to play around around 5% here. Yeah, I feel like 5% for this image is good, but I feel like for every different image that you use, it will be completely different. Yeah, so just going to back those two into a group. Just going to call that color contrast. And then you can see literally before and after how much that pops the image in such a simple way. And if that's obviously too much, you can just kind of reduce the opacity of this group and you'll kind of get like a different amount. But it's amazing how just adding that extra bit of color pop makes such a difference to an image. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, click that subscribe button because there's more coming soon. And remember, always be creating. See ya.